Hey, if you can't hear anything, I apologize. It is a super windy day. It died down as soon as I said that, of course. Um, anyway, I have a gopher snake in the bucket. That's pretty much what we've been removing today. Gopher snakes. And uh, this one was, he wasn't even seen. He was heard by the homeowner and it was in his garage. So he ran in the house and I had found it. It wasn't in the garage. It had gotten out of the garage and it managed to crawl around the side of the house and was just disappearing into a pile of rocks when I got it. So I caught him and I'm finding a spot to let him go. And I found it. I'll show you what I got here. A pile of junk dumped here by an irresponsible landscaping company. Fortunately, gopher snakes love it. There he is. So where's that sound that the guy heard? He hissed. And he's not gonna do it. He's just gonna be cool. What a pretty snake though, look at him. I really like that like nice kind of squared pattern. Come on, you can do it. You're not good at escaping. Oh yeah? Come on. Help you out. Oh shoot. <laughs> you didn't waste any time as soon as that was tipped over. Cool. Yeah, so this weird weather is apparently something that rattlesnakes are not loving. Um, I don't think we've even removed one today. I think it's just been gopher snakes. And there is a time of year every spring when uh, maybe for two weeks or so, we remove primarily gopher snakes. And I'm tempted to, to rename the business Gopher Snake Solutions but I have faith that rattlesnakes will start to move again. So, I'll see you later.